Christmas time is one of those times of times where all good things seem to happen, you know? There's snow outside, not having happening since last year in February. Giving gifts, having time with family, all that good stuff. For me, I personally bought myself this new Sonic poster. You feel me? It's only like ten dollars, bro. Pretty good deal, you feel me? And I also got, uh, 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 and I also got myself the new Oculus Quest 2. I really love this thing, honestly. But all things except for seems, seems it always seems good to be happening. This was one of the things that wasn't good that happened. I'm Sinister, and today we're gonna be looking at the Jake Paul vs. Tyrone movie highlights. Alright, so here we have the video pulled up right now. Yes, I'm not on freaking Google. I said Google. I'm not, yeah, Google Chrome because, uh, you know, the whole school blocking thing. So I, being as intelligent I am, got Microsoft Edge, and I'm now just making videos on here for now, I guess. You know, I have the VPN on just so the whole thing wouldn't be blocked. Uh, but this fight was probably... What the, I, I hate it. Well, I didn't see the whole fight, just so I'm looking at the highlights, but... I, was, I saw the knockout, bro. And I was like, no doubt. I looked at the highlights, I was like, no wonder why this nigga's retired, bro. Like, but this fight was pretty gay, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna be diving straight into it, you know, none of that. I already have the uh, 1080 quality quality <laughs> because I don't want no lot of freaking pixel counting in my videos. And let's hop into it. The problem child, Jake Paul, taking on Tyron Woodley for the second time in four months, defeated Woodley by split. Yeah, this is the uh, rematch. Yeah, this is the rematch. But as you guys see, he, he won the first fight. I don't know what happened in the first fight, but yeah. We see the height difference 5'9 to 6'1, 24 to 39, 67, I mean 76 to 74, and the record is 4 zip to zip 1. I hate Jake Paul. This is surprised nobody that everybody hates this nigga. Logan Paul is easily the better brother. Uh, yeah, I, I, he, he, he's just too cringe for me, honestly. I mean, think about it. Jake, Logan Paul, they had a whole beef with KSI, Jake Paul started. But then, at the end of the day, now they're friends. You know, uh, Logan Paul hanging out with Sidemen and all that. You know, they're all good friends now. Jake Paul, however, still can't get past, rid of his past, and he's just... I don't want to say it because I'd be too racist. So, <laughs> anyways... You see this stuff, bro. And he thinks he's retired, bro. He's an old man, bro. He's going for the KO. Woodley, meanwhile, coming Yo, is that, oh. Uh, Tommy Fury pulled out with an injury. Joyner Lucas? Yo, that's Joyner Lucas, yeah. Redemption and maybe an extra half mil on the line of Woodley can score the knockout. Okay, yeah, he, he gets some good hits Paul in, you know. That was a horrible hit. Right, that wobbles Woodley. Go to the body and then back up top. Yeah, hey, bro. Clean. Ryan Campbell scored round two, 10-9, Paul, both of the first two rounds. Going that way in round yeah. three. Okay, Paul, now they're right hand, but as you're gonna see here in the replay collides with Woodley's elbow. Oh, that nigga bleeding in his head, bro. On the forehead of Jake Paul, so problems arising for the problem child. We go to round six. These two would paw at each other, ah, grapple for a bit, but then Paul measuring, measuring, and finishing. Waits for his opening, and when the opening came, the nigga got slumped, bro. Bro, who's that one guy that won basketball player? He got memed on. We're starting, we're, niggas about to start another challenge. I swear to God, people are going to start a whole other challenge, bro. Starching Tyron Woodley with the right hand, fake the body shot over the top with the hook. Knock Woodley out cold, no count needed. Fight is over. Jake Paul defeats Tyron Woodley via sixth round knockout, improving to 5 0 with four KOs in his professional boxing career. Two of those wins now coming over Woodley at the wagering window. Yeah, the money line. Well, that cost you. Yeah, I gotta see. I gotta see the stats. I gotta see that. Okay, so because I will leave. Well, both of them have an equal amount of punch landed. That that's pretty weird. But of course, Joey Paul did more power. I mean, more jabs. You know, like eighteen over four, and then twenty five over thirty nine. I'm sorry, but even if he was retired, you know, into yeah, he even retired. 
I don't see how this nigga who looked like he could be inside a freaking Old Spice commercial lost to this nigga right here. Like, oh, I, I, what? Well, I, I don't, I don't get the lie. I don't get the physics. But honestly, when you look into the situation, it actually makes more sense. Now, see, Tyron Woodley is retired, but thing is, he's a UFC fight fighter. UFC fighters actually require to use their entire body as a weapon instead of just their hands. Boxers, on the other hand, basically what Jay Paul's been doing for the past two, two few years. I think 2018 was the first time when he started uh, boxing people. Basically, though, know, him gets deji, whole started the whole thing, brother versus crap. No matter. But boxers only use their hands, so they have to be in the terrain that basically it's just like hands and basically like all of that. But in UFC, it's just for use your entire body headbutts, knees, legs, grapples. Submissions. It's basically just wrestling, but more serious. But it's literally just wrestling, but real. And to actually prove my theory, how this makes sense, how Tyron really lost. Tom Conor McGregor won against. Let me see if I can find him real quick. How did I forget? How did I forget his name, bro? I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Anyways, Conor McGregor went against Floyd Mayweather. And not surprising to nobody, Conor McGregor lost. And I think they actually had a rematch. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check that too. Let me check that too. Okay, no, they didn't have they, they didn't have a rematch. They did not have a rematch. But however, Conor McGregor what is one definitely Fighting man, fighting in general's greatest fighters lost in a boxing match against Floyd Mayweather, which also I uh, admit that's one of the best fighters we have. So honestly, it only makes sense that the same situation would happen here. UFC fighters are definitely just not equipped for boxing, except for it's basically they do wrestling. All right, if they were in Pokemon, they'd be a dark type. Or, or they'd be a fighting dark type, or whatever. Cause they would, cause they do grapple submissions and literally everything that isn't just punching, you know. So honestly, it doesn't make sense. And not just that, but adding on to the fact that he's old and retired. This nigga's already nearing forty. This nigga's only one year for forty. Literally, his age is right here, bro. Like honestly, yeah. Not only is he old, not only is he retired, but he was f definitely not in his physical prime either. I'm telling you, if we had a Tyron Woodley really in his prime going against Jay Paul, this would not happen. The first, this this whole thing would end it on the first fight, which, if Jay Paul did win, they just said it, but I never watched it, so I don't know what actually happened. Anyway, this is just, this, this honestly just, well, this was bound to happen, honestly. Round six, if you had it tapped, 14 to 1 to your dollar. Jake Paul wins by knockout two minutes and 12 seconds into the sixth round. For his mm -hmm. next fight, Paul said, anytime, anyone, any place. Followed that by calling out Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz mm -hmm. for leaving the Man, I just want someone to beat this nigga, bro. Like, please, somebody just step into the ring who actually know how to fight. Like, literally, every time Jake Paul went against, some, went against somebody, they did not know how to box. Deji didn't know. Uh, Gib, um, how did I almost forget his name? Gib. Now, I will admit, nowadays, Gib know how to fight. He, he has the, he, he has certified hands on him. However, if we watch the old Jake Paul versus Anderson Gib fight, you would be seeing that the nigga was basically crouch dancing the entire time. Like, this, this nigga was just teabagging. And, the, of course, this nigga's gonna lose. His, he, he bent his knees Way beyond the 90 degree angle mark. I mean, way below the 90 degree angle mark. So, honestly, it only makes sense that he lost because he basically took out himself. Early. Here's Paul in his own words post fight. And I forgot all the other fights, so, yeah. So, anyway, this is back real to life. This is as real as a get, just like my right hand. I told you, Ariel, I was gonna f him up. I told you I was. We need to put a stop to this, man. We, we really need somebody who knows how to fight, 
who's in their physical prime right now, who knows how to box. You know, can we get someone who's actually in boxing currently? Like, no, no one retired, nobody old, nobody who doesn't know how to fight that well, and not someone who's just, just called an athlete because they play golf. We need someone who actually knows how to actually fight. You know, feel me? Someone in boxing, currently playing now, in their physical prime, to actually fight this man. Because now this nigga's getting too gassed up. This nigga's way too cocky now. And we need to put a stop to this man. We, we gotta shut this man up, please. Look at him, bro. Look at all of his fellow privileged people, bro. Like, dog, someone need to put a stop to this man, bro. Oh, yeah, Tommy Fury. I was gonna say, bro, like, wasn't he supposed to fight somebody else? This is a real fighter, a real dog. Bro, he does UFC, bro. That's a tough fight right there. Legend. I got the job done, and I knew it would happen like that. I was setting up the shot the whole fight. He didn't see it coming. He was catching. You know what? I'm, I'm I'm tired of hearing this. I I really am, honestly. Catching, catching, come around. Good morning. <laughs> Who do you want next, Jake? And when do you want to play again? Logan Paul. Anyone, anytime, any place, anyone. Go ahead, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, hold up. Uh, I'm tired of watching this. I know nothing else is gonna happen, bro. Uh, let me not turn the quality bro. Yeah, 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 it's you were set up, nigga, right? It's every day, bro. He still uses that? Bro, wasn't that? Hey, Archie, yeah, never think about it. Wasn't that the same lines that you and your little team 10 did? Like, what happened to them? Congratulations. <laughs> what happened to them? Hang on, let me stop. The party is on. Here it is. Jake Paul knows how to do two. He he was his knockouts of knockouts. Okay, no, okay, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. Nate Robinson, that was about to play, but no, okay, no, this was okay. I was, this was not no knockout. This was not no knockout. I I, I I'm sorry, but I tell you, Ennis Gibb literally took out himself. He literally suicided, bro. And who was uh, Ben Askin again? He was, I know he was old and retired, but. Who was Ben Askin again? Who was Ben Askin? Oh, would you look at that. Also a USC fighter. Also in his late. Oh, he's old. I swear, Jake Paul literally goes for anybody who isn't a boxer, bro. Like, bro, we can bring we, we can bring Mike Tyson in as he is right now, and he will literally one shot Jake Paul, bro. I'm not. I swear, we. I swear, we really put Tyson against this nigga Jake Paul, someone who's actually a boxer, as the age he is right now. Mike Tyson will one shot this kid, bro. Two things in boxing part. Here's the. Quartet of knockouts. Bro, it, it makes no sense. Old and USC fighter. Old and USC fighter. Basketball player who's not a center or power forward. Like, if, if Nate Robinson was a center, power forward, or even small forward, I, I'd accept. No, not small forward. Nah, nah, nah. Because remember, it's boxing we're talking about, and you don't really need much power unless you're a power forward or a center. So, it makes sense for all the other ones to not make sense, but. No, that's because that nigga Harrison Barnes on this nigga, bro. This nigga Harrison Barnes is one shot in too, bro. The fourth and by far most impressive going down on Saturday over Tyron Woodley. That knockout coming in the sixth round. Uh, Woodley and Ben Askren, who suffered a similar fate, although in the first round, that right hand did away with Askren. Askren and Woodley 
a friends made in the oh, yeah, they're both freaking UFC fighters, and they're, and they're old. Professional boxing career. They're not even at their twenties. I'm sorry, but I really gotta ask the nigga who's letting these fights happening like this, bro. Who's allowing these fights to happen? This young nigga who was in his prime going against all the old niggas who are most likely retired. Like, so, oh my gosh, bro. This actually triggers me so bad, bro. This fight recap presented by Taki Snacks. Face the intensity, and intensity is what we got. The king of swing, Brian Campbell, here to break it all down. A BC, a, a largely oh, uneventful like, first five and a half rounds, I think it's fair to say, with this fight mirroring the first meeting between the two. Was he a but then the too? punctuation in round six... Take us through those moments, how you took it in your general reaction to the way that this one went down. Yeah, boy, did that wake up the house here at Emily Arena in Tampa, Florida. And also, I think, breathed life back into this brand. What do I mean by that? Not just the Jake Paul boxing brand. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Jake Paul is the cash cow of boxing right now. The past year and a half, mm -hmm. we've seen old fighters come back from retirement. We've seen fighters from other sports like Darren Williams and Frank Gore earlier tonight. And we've seen Jake Paul, the YouTube a sensation social media influencer this was going the wrong way in terms of entertainment in terms of maybe us questioning should this be the kind of boxing that's presented on no no it shouldn't <laughs> this is not he's going against old retired niggas bro who don't even play the boxing? Who don't even do boxing? This level with the pay-per-view treatment. Well, Jake Paul, in round six, fainted to the body perfectly and delivered the boom with that right hand. And he left no doubt in a clear, stunning, violent one-punch knockout. That at the end of the day, it, it makes you wake up and go, this kid's just 24 years old, Jake Paul. Love him or hate him. And exactly. Way, he welcomes money He's too young. Paul. <laughs> no, okay, right he's not there. too young, but he's in his prime. That's the problem. Uh, he can tra trash talk, and he can deliver in the ring. He's certainly not a full, experienced fighter. This nigga, in his physical prime, going against old, retired niggas, who don't even do boxing. I have no pro boxer ready to take on the biggest names in the world, but in his own lane, he showed this evening why is he is so dangerous. Yeah, I want to unpack a bunch of that uh, because the technicality of the finish or, or the technical nature of what he did to land that finishing punch it sort of mirrored everything that we saw leading up to it. Nothing was really all that technical throughout the night. I, guess I didn't see the fight, one, so I can't really judge that. I can't justify judge that. what we sat through for the better part of six rounds? I don't think it justifies it. Does it save it, though? That's the key question. I think it might. Obviously, the matchmaking is going to have to be key. And even though this one, this rematch, which was you know less than two weeks' notice when Tommy Fury pulled out, it didn't have some of that same trash talk feel and pull of... <laughs> Who was Tommy Fury? I, I did hear of him. Uh, I was on to Tommy Fury's side, honestly. But who? who what, what sport did he play? I, I got. I got. Just make sure you know. Just make sure that who was going to get a golf player? Who's Tommy Fury? Is he a boxer? We needed this nigga. We needed him to fight Jake Paul. This nigga's an actual professional boxer. I mean, he's only 22, too, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, what's, what? He took time off his boxing career in 2019 to star in... Never mind. But even then, I felt like that he could have been a way better candidate to fight Jake Paul than freaking Tywin Woodley, who plays UFC. So, honestly, we, we needed Tommy Fury to fight this nigga, bro. Like, did he, like, did you say he backed out, but I kind of feel like Jake Paul's the one who backed out of you. Hmm, let me, let me check. Let's see what actually happened. Okay, so it was a schedule. It was a schedule thing. It was a schedule thing. 
Okay, so n neither of them backed out. It was just that his schedule was forced to change, so it makes sense, yeah. I, I, that, that's, a, that's a valid excuse. That's a valid excuse. But here's the thing. We needed, to we needed Tommy to fight this nigga, bro. We did not need a USC fighter, bro. Niggas who don't know how to box to save their own lives. Of their first fight, Paul, Paul versus Woodley in August. So it was a little bit lacking in that regard, but it certainly had more action in the big moment and the big boom. And I think when you look at the the, the, the attitude of the, of the paying public, the fan base, they're not going to pay for the fight that they saw for the first five and a half rounds of this. But they will pay for that finish, and they will pay for the type of matchmaking yeah. which could lead Makes you to believe yeah, that that happen again. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, I hate Jake Paul with every ounce of my being, but I'm not gonna lie. That that right hook was way too powerful, bro. That, that you 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 saw the the water, you saw the hydration leave this man, Tyro Woodley. He happened to Jake Paul, so how he moves from this will be key. But he did himself, and like I mentioned, this overall bubble a huge service. Of you know what? I'm tired of this. So you know what? I'm gonna skip straight to the freaking knockout punch. Right, so here's the punch. Here's the punch right here. Here's the the freaking haymaker that this man Jake Paul done through. Here, here's his name, bro. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for more videos. Like, bro, yeah, I know y'all saw that. Like, look at the hydration. Bro, look at that, bro. You make a wallpaper out of that. And then this man just flopped to the ground like Nate Robinson did, bro. Honestly. What I'm saying is that this fight was obviously like on Jake Paul's size to begin with. You have a not only 39-year-old, basically 40. Basically, no, nah, that's our retirement age. Okay, here's the thing. For me, retirement age is like 50. 50 is like the turning time to retire, retire, so. Technically not 50, but he's still old, because for me, old 40 is considered like old, because middle age for me is like 20, no, like 25. Okay, that's, that's way too young. For me, middle age, no, middle age is like 27 or 28 to like 35. Once you, once you exceed 35, I consider you old. So not only when he gets an old person who's not in his physical prime, who retired, but he also gets this nigga who didn't even play boxing as a sport. Now see, if this was UFC, this would be a whole big difference. I mean, think about it: Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. If Floyd Mayweather were to do UFC, Conor McGregor would dog Floyd Mayweather. However, they did boxing. And boxing, USC fighters have a major disadvantage because they're not inside a sport they're normally comfortable in. You're basically forcing someone to actually go outside of their comfort zone to play another sport. It's like, it's like, no, no, it's like, nah. No, it's like getting Jesser to play football. You know he's going to be bad at it. But as soon as you change the sport to basketball, Jason Jester has the major advantage. Because it's simply just that you're putting someone outside of their comfort zone, outside of their natural, your, their natural order, into playing a different sport, which is totally different from the sport they play. And that means they have no, they have no advantage at all. So, I can, I, can, I don't, no, you big Askin. Nate Robinson and Tyron Woodley, I can't give Jake Paul the win. I cannot. He, first of all, neither of them did boxing. All of them are retired. Okay, not with Nate Robinson, but he's pretty trash anyways fighting. I can't really claim him as a black person at this point. But, but yeah, I kind of disown him. Like, he's not in boxing anymore. Uh, Asian people, y'all can, can take him. Y'all can take him. Yeah, y'all can take him. But anyways, uh... Basically, two of the three people he fought were retired and old and didn't even play the sports. So I, I can't give him. He can't. I can't give him the professional dub. No, I can't. Like I can only give someone the professional dub if both players have someone equal grounds. And people, what people seem to misunderstand is that even though both of them are fighting. They are not the same sport at all. They're two completely different things. 
boxing is basically all standing up. You cannot go down to the ground. And you use your hands only. Hands, arms, elbow. No, you can't use elbows because that's USC only. You only use your hands, your arms, and that's it. And you can't get down on the ground. USC, ground moves are okay. Elbows are okay. Knees, kicking, grabbing, freaking attitude adjustment. Like, all of that is acceptable in USC. But it is not acceptable in boxing. This is why every USC fighter who who anytime played boxing, man, boxing, yeah, whoever did boxing, always lost because they're, you're picking, so you're taking someone outside of their natural element, which is for this case USC, and you're making them go against a boxer who, at this point, j Paul has years of experience at this point. So I, I can't, I still can't follow a, a professional. But he has skill in boxing, and that's something we all can admit to. So, this fight was rigged from the beginning. How about you, like, so how about you, how, how about Jake Paul? You go get someone who actually know how to box, and you actually know, go get someone who's actually near your age, like Tommy Fury. Like, let's say, here's the thing Tommy Fury, you pick, you both pick a time. Then both of y'all can fight, and y'all do it thing. He's a, he's right now. I'm he, I'm thinking he's in a physical prime, but he's nearing his favorite physical prime. If he already isn't already inside of his physical, physical prime, he's near your age. So do you only know you know at the injuries for the past few years or any of that. And he also does boxing, so he's not put out of his, outside of his natural element. Once you get a dub against him. Or any nigga, I mean, or, or any person, I basically just described inside of that, or like any type of person I described in what I just said. I'll finally give you the dub. I'll fi I'll finally certify you as a professional boxer. But until then, I, I you're you're not professional, kid. You're still trash. You're still bad. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.